Hi everybody, it's Chris from Student Education. I'm going to do my full managers analysis update for the coming week, 24th of February to the 28th of February. Let's crack on. Four majors starting with Euro against US dollar on the monthly. Let's have a look and see what's been happening so far this month. And you can see that we had a lot of upside for the Euro against US dollar. Very positive. Uh, prices still fell to, to actually break that 50% monthly fib retracement level here at the 13, 48, and 18. Uh, clearly, we saw the prior month of January falling into that level, but uh, however, faintly closed lower. So uh, the overall candlesticks are still upside. We do have everything on our monthly looking still bullish long term, and we are seeing a bit of positiveness for the euro uh, this month in particular as we're heading higher or back up towards the prior resistance level highs that we saw in October of last year and through December of 2013. That will become more apparent as we drop down onto our weekly time frames. But you'll notice that the indicator box of here is primarily looking positive and the long-term sentiment still one of upside. So hence the reason why I like to look at my long-term chart in particular. You can see that we are still seeing swing highs and we've had a lot of positiveness since the uh, mid part of 2012. In fact, as Euro has uh, made new highs and subsequently broken just recently above the 2012 resistance level highs, but we're seeing consolidation uh, the past two months in particular, failing to break out of 61.8 monthly FIB level and consolidative, however, still moving between the 61 and the 50 period uh, retracement level. That will become more apparent as we drop down to our weekly. Here you can see quite clearly October of last year, in fact, we had resistance and um, since November, in fact, we've actually been trading between these two monthly FIB levels, the 61.8 and the 50%, uh, 50 uh, percent retracement level a consolidation nonetheless and we have had a breach uh, just recently this consolidation or resistance level high here at 1367 and 58 notice prices fell to clearly break above that level just recently resistance 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 um, failure and then last um, week in fact sorry the prior week actually heading or edging onto that level but we want the price to actually stay above that level to kick on and subsequently what we have seen is price closing slightly higher. So we could see uh, the euro uh, re-attempting the 61.8 level this week. In fact, uh, the weekly, we don't have the R squared in favor with us. We'd like to see the R squared actually moving with long-term sentiment, which is the bias is higher. The LR, yeah, the linear regression is moving higher, but the R squared is not complementing that buying uh, sentiment. And that's primarily going to happen because we are trading at a major support and resistance level high. There is still a bit of wiggle room between where price is trading right now to all that 61.8 level and you're looking at an excess of 86 pips and change um, but we get going on to our daily time frame straight away I get a buy signal on my daily we do have everything in our favor the blue arrow blue candles RMO is above the Osimo indicators above the zero level however consolidative it's dark green and that's primarily because we've seen price pulling back over the past couple of days heading into the Friday close so ideally we are looking for we should be looking for the bias is still looking upside favor as price has now broken a prior support and resistance level high, i.e. the January resistance level high. And um, as long as it maintains above 1367, we should still be looking for buying opportunities both intraday and long term. If you are looking for long term, then ideally break above the 1375, uh, 59 and change to just aggressively target the 61.8. Or intraday, you could be even more aggressive to target those levels. Uh, but just make sure that you are seeing new highs. On those charts. On to sterling. On the monthly FIB level, you can quite clearly see that sterling is at a very, very um, major support and resistance level that stems back right through 2009, in fact, as well as the 50% uh, FIB retracement level here on the pullback after the breakdown that we saw through 2008, in fact. Um, so clearly, before 2009, we had a pullback, 2010, we had a pullback, and now we're currently trading at the level again. The past two months, in fact, we've seen price consolidative, not only at the at this particular level here in the shape of the monthly FIB level, but all the institution moving average here, this little light green, dark, or this mid-green color is our institution moving average as well. The long-term sentiment on my indicator box is still favoring highs. You'll notice that on the monthly, I still have a blue arrow, the candlesticks are blue, RMO is above, and my Osimo indicator is still green and bright green. So there's no consolidation as yet. But we have to be well aware that we are trading at a major support and resistance level high. We had the same scenario here back in 2010. We had the same scenario again in 2008, 2009, where the candlesticks and the Osimo indicator 
and the RMO etc were all above however we're trading into a major resistance level so the price was likely to pull back okay so we have to be vigilant of that ideally what we want to see is a monthly close above that level we fail to see any monthly closes above that level since 2009 we've seen a number of, a number of occasions trading above it on the monthly time frame but failed to close high on those monthly time frames so we want to see the monthly candle closing higher than that to give us a genuine sentiment candle saying we should be still looking for higher upside failure to do so we could see consolidation which has clearly been the case now through december and january february's seeing a bit of positiveness coming through but it's still hindered by the resistance level high we have another week left before we see the end of close on february we want to see that level being breached guys otherwise we could see consolidation and the outcome could be pullbacks okay the long-term sentiment still favoring the upside however you can see intraday that negativity and the r squared is complementing that negative that selling we're seeing uh, in our intraday time frame so we drop down to our weekly time frame you'll see the bias very much to the upside blue arrow blue candles rmo well above zero osimo was above the zero however is now below so now we have three out of our four confirmations that we require and you'll see the pullback candle on the week aggressively pulling back on friday as the um, prior week was a bullish engulfing candle move higher it was imperative that last week actually closed higher that failed to materialize we had some negative figures for sterling coming out uh, that included the unemployment figure dropping back down to 7.2.1 percent in the wrong direction we're expecting uh, higher or lower than seven that was that wasn't the case and subsequently we had a bit of a pullback it's imperative that we are to see any further longing opportunities for sterling against US dollar we do need to see the monthly fib level here at the 1672.45 change being breached a daily monthly close above that would go a long way daily is not really interested because as you can see from the monthly um, charts that we saw just recently we had a lot of price action trading above it however it failed to close above that level on the monthly and therefore we saw further consolidation and the outcome turned negative so here clearly need to see the end of month closing above the 50 percent in order to look for longs failure to do so we see more consolidation here failure to do a close above that we will see consolidation and the outcome will then start to look more negative i.e pullbacks and there are one or two ranges or areas where it could clearly move to okay there again suffice to see that we are seeing negativity in today you have to be well aware of that uh, on the daily we do get a buy signal on my daily everything's clearly in my favor however we're still trading below the monthly fib level you can see we quite clearly we had a pullback and the pullback is now testing the prior resistance level highs that we saw in january of this year as well as the december resistance level highs so consolidation above here is a paramount must for this week coming up but if it fails to stay above that level then we could see a, a, a greater pullback consolidation pullback and then we could be looking in excess of roughly around the 1633 in change before we see the monthly fib level here at 38.2 being our next potential target to the downside which would also complement our institution moving average so it's imperative price needs to consolidate to near term to see any further upside movement on the particular pair US dollar Swiss franc notice candlesticks store are red we have had a major consolidation that happened since 2011 but since 2011 moves higher since uh, the 2012 2013 price has been consolidated we haven't seen any new highs especially above the 61.8 level on the monthly fib level and subsequently price is still trading negative so we're seeing no new highs so therefore we're going to make new lows and that's exactly what's been happening near term however we've seen consolidation at the 38.2 monthly fib level support in october um, then again through um, november december january a lot of consolidation a lot of indecision candles very small wicks but you'll notice we're not making new highs we're making new lows and this month in fact is trading back again into that support level at the 38.2 monthly fib level so imperative you notice the arrow we have is red monthly candles are red the rmo is clearly below has not been above the zero level since 21 2001 so a long 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 time ago so we're still trading well below that that zero level and the awesome indicator is below as well so we do have a clear selling opportunity on our monthly but we have failed to see a close lower than that 38.2 level so we're looking for a close lower that would then generally tell us we should be looking to the 23.6 level which is a healthy 630 odd pips to the downside so clearly wait for the end of this month 
give us a true signal. If it closes lower, then enter long, short towards, sorry, short to that uh, 23.6 at least. That should be your long-term goal because we are trading in the direction of the long-term trend and the long-term trend is negative. So you shouldn't be looking for buying opportunities. If price fails to close lower than the 38.2 yet again, then overall sentiment is going to start favoring the US dollar against the Swiss franc. If you fail to find the momentum to drop low or to, to, to break low, then people are going to get tired of sitting there, moving sideways, not getting any profit. They're going to start thinking, well, I'm going to close my position. I'm going to find something else that's moving somewhere else. Or the fundamentals could be telling a totally different story. And then we'll look for further consolidation. And the outcome could be then back towards the 50% retracement level we've just come from. And that is roughly, if you look from the 38 back to the 50, you're looking in excess of 523 pips. Last bit of the day, US dollar Japanese yen monthly FIB. Clearly seeing on the, the, the past two months, the resistance at the 61.8 level. Price is consolidated there. And we've had a tweezer top formation because the last month bearish and engulfing the December period at a major support and resistance level high, which also is the institution moving average high. And that constitutes to a tweezer top. But we want to see a confirmation candle. Ideally, back below the 50% level would then look for a major consolidation or pullback and the 38.2, the 23, etc. And back towards our 2011 lows would be the next potential trade. Notice the candlesticks, however, are still blue. This one of our long-term sentiment is positive, but we're seeing a lot more negativity creeping into the shape of things. And as long as we're not seeing any new highs, the ultimate um, setup is likely to be consolidated with a likelihood for long-term pullbacks. So drop down to our weekly time frame. You'll notice on our weekly there's more negativity than, than positiveness on here. We still have the RMO and the institution moving average working together. So it's still long-term trend is higher. However, we're seeing a lot of negativity on other ones, which is telling we're seeing consolidation. And if you look at the actual three weeks in particular, price has failed to do nothing. Take the two weeks prior to that, the start of uh, January, in fact, you'll notice that we had a spinning top. And the, the week prior, we also had a bearish engulfing candle. So price is consolidative and has been consolidated for the best part of 2014. So here we want to see ideally a move higher because the candlesticks are still telling we should be looking for long-term sentiment highs. However, we do have a red arrow, the candlesticks are still blue, RMO is still above, and our awesome is below. So we have two against two, which gives you a no trade signal. So here, the candlesticks are still positive, so therefore my long-term sentiment is still looking for buying opportunities. But if you see a buying opportunity, I need to see price closing above the prior resistance level high. If you look in the weekly, that resistance level high is roughly around about the 102.61. So when I drop down to my daily time frame, price has got to be making new swing highs in order to be positive. Swing lows means we are negative. Okay, so that's the importance of knowing where your long-term support and resistance levels are, when your, your trend direction is, and you can see quite clearly we've had swing lows since then. So price is consolidative now at a prior resistance level. Candlesticks are still blue. RMO is above, the awesome is above. However, we do need to see a daily candle close above the prior resistance high. And that is the February resistance level high. Got to get above that, then it's not making any swing lows. She's making a new swing high. That means we are ideally in a new trend. Intermediate trend would be upside. So therefore, we look then to target the prior swing lows. And the first one, first port of call is this buddy right over here at 104.56. And between these two levels, you're looking in excess of 184 pips. You're not going to get all of that, but comfortably at least 100 pips is going to be on the table. We might see consolidation here at the 50% retracement level at 103. That could be your first aggressive target level, but our daily break above that, then we should be looking back up towards these levels and our daily back up towards that 61.8 level to the upside. Okay, guys, that's a short and sweet today. That's what we're looking for for this week in particular. Failure to see a break above the US dollar, uh, this particular resistance level here, then price could revert back towards these prior lows we come from. Okay, so it's imperative that the US dollar breaks, breaches this level in order to look the US dollar long. If we fail to see that happening, we could see further resistance here, and then the US dollar short for the remainder of this week. Okay, fundamentals obviously very very important. Please look to see if there's any major news announcements this week that's likely to factor in on any of the prices or pairs that you're looking at. Very, very important. Look to see if there's any bank holidays or 
inflation reports, GDP. I see that for Wednesday, the 26th, we have GDP quarter and quarter figures, or second estimate of GDP quarter and quarter figures for sterling, in fact. Uh, we have prelim business investment quarter and quarter figures. Uh, we have CPI year and year figures for euro, very, very important. We have the consumer confidence on Tuesday for the US market. Uh, we have new home sales figures on Wednesday for the US market. Uh, new, we have trade balance figures for New Zealand on Wednesday. Uh, Thursday, we have the uh, core durable goods month and month figures, unemployment claims for the US market. There's a lot of news, guys, so please be well aware of these levels or these fundamental news announcements if you are trading. Don't trade if you are, no, don't look to trade if you're looking at a particular pair and these news announcements are likely to come out. There's likely to be a lot of volatility leading up to and after the news announcement is made. Speculation is what we call it. So very, very important. Rather be well aware of these, these news announcements and either, if you are in any trades, be well aware of them so you can move your stops up nice and tight. Or if you are looking to trade something, don't trade around that news announcement. Rather wait for the market to digest that information and then see what if price is moving in the direction of the long-term uh, trend to then gain a position. Okay, guys, short and sweet. I should be on on and off during the course of this week with our students. Um, hope this has been of help to you. But otherwise, other than that, keep it simple. Please follow the rules of any particular trading strategy that you are utilizing. Back it up again with very, very strong money management rules. And I wish you all the best. Until then, you guys trade serenely.